So uh, my name is Adam Eaton. I'm the sales director for Polson, predominantly for new business, but also with a view of account management as well. Uh, Polson are one of the leading uh, cloud and managed service providers in the UK, focusing actually on, on the UK market. Uh, we made a decision that, uh, that there's a fairly broad market in the UK, and we need to focus with a recent acquisition from Onyx on Scotland, the Midlands, the North East, and, and in the South as well. So we focus uh, on primarily on cloud managed hosting, although we came from a co-location background. So we started out as four separate companies, probably going back six or seven years now, and have brought those together with an expertise around co-location, around managed hosting, and around cloud services. Hybrid cloud is one of the, the buzzwords that's currently in the market as well. You talk to a number of analysts and I think you will get a different response from different analysts. So the pulsant view of hybrid cloud is really bringing together all of the components of, of our product offering from co-location all the way through to public cloud. And in between you've got private cloud and you've got managed hosting as well. And I think what hybrid cloud um, really is from a market perspective is it gives uh, the IT organisations within enterprise, within small companies, the ability to pick and choose from a number of different product sets to meet their IT requirements. So a good example of that is if you're a large enterprise organisation, you may have a very large IT um, group within that organisation, so co-location is perfect for you. But in actual fact, as you're co-locating, uh, and your team are looking after your co-location environment, there may be the requirement for additional compute. So where would you go for that? You'd probably go to the public cloud or to Polson's Enterprise Cloud to get that additional compute, just to give the opportunity to um, add in additional resources as and when required. So the, the term hybrid really is about offering different types of computing requirements, be it co-location, be it uh, uh, cloud managed services to meet your needs at that time. So it's about driving flexibility for you, the IT organisation. The, the trend towards hybrid IT is really driven by uh, probably one with flexibility. Um, I think if you go back four or five years to uh, where IT was back then, where cloud was in those days, it was very much, uh, well, what should we put in the cloud? We had data protection issues, we had regulatory issues. Um, and there were also interoperability issues around how you moved your applications around. I, th I think the, the, the hybrid uh, option today it gives you the flexibility to move those workloads and to, to resource your IT as, as in how you see fit. I think one of the biggest challenges that organisations faced, around, particularly around flexibility, was you would go into a long-term contract maybe around co-location, around managed hosting, and then as you maybe acquired another organisation, how did you then shoehorn that into your existing environment? What hybrid IT does for you is it gives you the flexibility to move up, move down, to change the way you resource your computing requirements. Managed Azure is probably the, um, uh, the, the pinnacle is probably the wrong word, but it's, it's, a, it's a different type of, of hybrid. And I think what Managers Year is going to give you, the organisation, is the ability to uh, adopt public cloud services, uh, services for that additional resource that we, you know, we talked about within the, the hybrid IT requirement. But the managed side of it gives you the, the comfort as the IT organisation or as the enterprise to know that someone is looking after it for you. When you talk to the analysts and you, you read in the press, shadow IT is something that people uh, refer to a, a lot. And that's the ability of, um, or for anyone in your team to go out and procure some form of cloud service. With a managed Azure offering, it, it then ensures that you're able to use that additional compute, use the additional resource, but you are safe in the knowledge that it's being managed by a third party, such as Pulsant. So for us, managed Azure is the ability to uh, allow the IT organisation to dip in and out of public cloud uh, and to use those additional resources as and when required. And I think the reason for, for doing that is that very often people will want to actually buy the base. Now whether that's a, um, a Azure stack private cloud, whether it's a Pulse and Enterprise cloud, um, you then you, you have your fixed resource set. Once you've got your fixed resource set, it's how do you actually expand uh, and put additional resources into the public cloud. To be able to do that through your service provider, through someone like Polson in a managed way, 
means you can be confident that you've got someone there to look after the billing, look after the technical sides of it, and ensure that when you do need to add additional compute, it follows a fixed and set process within your IT organisation, sticking to the governance requirements and the regulatory requirements.